All right. Uh, hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today, in front of us, we have a, a question. Actually, this question came from one of you who sent me a, a very simple question saying, <clears throat> Do we Christian believe that Adam is a prophet? And uh, obviously, this person he heard the Muslims speaking of Adam as a prophet. <clears throat> you know, the idea of uh, Adam to be a prophet, it's very funny and very unique. <clears throat> Uh, it's unique in in the in the way of uh, you know I mean how silly it is. You see, in order to be a prophet, I have to be sent to people who speak the language of my tongue, and there have there are people there is people there. So now we have Adam, and Adam was alone, and then God he made for him a Eve. <laughs> so Adam was a prophet for who? <laughs> Uh, read with me carefully as you see this is not my uh, this is Islamic website all right this is Islam uh, info and this is fatwa number one zero five five one as you see in the top the first of the Prophet is the first of the messengers I would like to know Adam peace be upon him was a prophet if he was not who was the first prophet the origin and the history of Islam <clears throat> all right okay now the answer is coming now the answer is coming from a, a very high educated Muslim scholar supposedly his name uh, Sheikh Muhammad Saleh al Munjid. he's very well known actually this guy okay his name is here you can see him you see the name in the down in the corner <clears throat> he said Adam bees upon him was the first prophets as it says in the hadith narrated by Ibn etc that the prophet etc who was asked about Adam was he a prophet so somebody asked Muhammad you know I'm so grateful that somebody asked Muhammad this question so was he a prophet he said yes a prophet to whom Allah spoke A prophet to whom Allah spoke. <laughs> That's a good one. Any Muslim can translate to me. What does that mean? I mean, we need interpretation for this. This is a story by itself. He is a prophet to whom Allah spoke. Hmm? But he was not a messenger. <laughs> That's even more funny. <laughs> oh, Abdul, I love you. Unbelievable. Abdul, how somebody is a prophet, but he is not a messenger? Let me break it down for you. I mean, you Muslims, your intelligence is super super. If I am God, for sure I'm not, and I'm just let you know, like a, a high. I mean, just to give an example, and then I say to you something which is a prophecy, which means you are going to prophesy to this to your people. Isn't it? This is a message from God, <laughs> and that will make you a messenger. <laughs> you know how he can. You see. There's, there's a it's possible that somebody can be a messenger but he is not a prophet but to be a prophet but you are not a messenger that's impossible it's because the second we say a prophet that's mean this person is delivering a prophecy from God a messenger can be a messenger of anyone the postman can be a messenger a delivery guy can be a messenger but when we give the title of a prophet to someone he is not a prophesying in his own he is giving us a delivery a message from god this is about something will happen now or something will happen in the future that will make him a prophet and a messenger at the same time so it's very stupid to say that there is someone he is a messenger but he is not a prophet the ignorance 
is amazing. I just received actually a message uh, from uh, overseas. They are trying to uh, uh, to set me, uh, you know, like uh, uh, you know, a date for uh, the coming seminar. Uh, <clears throat> so anyway uh, he is a prophet but he is not a messenger why because the hadith about intercession in which says the people will go to Noah and say to him you are the first messenger whom Allah sent to earth <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> so now we have Adam is the first prophet and Noah is the first messenger. I mean, that's a good one. Unbelievable. You know, stupidity is amazing. <clears throat> Just to show you how this false cult contradict itself and how funny and how stupid it is. Adam is a prophet, he is not a messenger. The first messenger is Noah. Stop. So why you Muslims you claim that the first one who built the house, which means the Kaaba, is you know is Adam, and he asked his people to follow it to, to go around it and recycle around it in order to be forgiven. Is it this is a message? This is not a prophecy. <laughs> prophecy is about something will happen in the future. Let us see. Let us see and love together. I know sometimes the stupidity of the, the Abdul's is beyond imagination. This is a book. It's called Routes of the Re uh, and Rename: The Power of uh, Place in Earth Islamic Words. All right. Uh, you know, etc. Anyway, I don't know who's the writer, but anyway, he is copying what the Muslims are saying. Anyway, uh, so God ordered Adam to build a house of worship, bait on earth, and those Muslims they should be supposedly go around this Kaaba the same as the angels of Allah they go around his throne. Okay. So when Allah, actually the hadith in Arabic, it says that Allah, he ordered Adam and Eve to build a house. So Adam used to build and uh, and dig and uh, Eve, she used to carry, which means like uh, <laughs> Eve, she was the hard labor guy who have a very strong muscles. You know what? Let me, let me get your hadith. Hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Imagine Adam and Eve. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. It says here in Arabic. I wish I can find you the, the one. This one in English. Uh, it says that Allah He sent Jibril to Adam. بعد الله تعالى جبريل إلى آدم وحواء فقال لهما ابن يالي بيتا فخط لهما جبريل فجعل آدم يحفر وحواء تنقل. حتى أجابه الماء ونودي من تحته حسبك يا آدم. <laughs> Let me translate. So Allah He sent Jibril and He told to tell Adam uh, and and Eve, both of them, build for me a house. And He made a plan for them. You know, He made like a line in the ground where they can we should uh, build a house. And Jib uh, uh, Adam He start digging. And Eve, she start carrying like uh, the dirt until until uh, water came out, you know. And a voice came from um, underneath of him, it says, "Oh, be careful, be careful, Adam." <laughs> and here suddenly the, the story changed direction, and then say, and then it says, "So when he uh, and so when he built the house, hmm, Allah ordered Adam to go and circulate around it." And he told him, you are the first one to do that. Hmm? All right. Muslims. Allah ordered Adam to circulate around the house. And then Adam, 
he told them the people that uh, Allah told me to circulate around the house is it this is a message and that, that would make him a messenger from Allah so he, how he is a prophet but not he he's not a messenger <laughs> but I like the story of Adam of Eve I mean it like <laughs> I want to get Eve like that <laughs> that will be wonderful I will dig she will carry the dirt I wonder where I can find an Eve like this that would be fantastic you know th these days uh, women if they do laundry they cry for a week even the laundry machine is just like you you put the the, the clothes there and you hit the bomb and that's it still they are complaining about doing laundry look at this Eve and um, how amazing it is Adam is digging Eve is carrying the dirt <laughs> I love it uh, oof, if, if there's any Eve around let me know so how you Muslims you say I mean this is stupid things Adam to dig and build a house for him why Allah don't build a house for himself and why I mean why Mecca I mean why, you know somebody can tell me and why the location of Mecca I mean the Kaaba is a very bad location where always it's flooded by bad water and sewage if we go right now right now go and type in Google the flood of uh, the Kaaba I mean if Allah is an engineer and he is the one who chose the location that's mean he is the worst engineer ever he chose the lowest point of Mecca where all the dirty water come to it when there is a flood so the Muslims when they speak about <coughs> uh, Adam is a mess sorry a prophet but not a messenger that is showing us that those people they are living in a fiction mood he is a prophet but he is not a messenger Noah is a messenger but he is not a prophet <laughs> you know Adam was a messenger sorry he was a prophet to who Muslims and what his prophecy based on the Quran I want a Muslim to tell me the prophecy as we know in the Quran that Allah he taught Adam the names of the things that's not a prophecy that's not a prophecy if somebody taught me the names I'm not prophesying if somebody told me that this book uh, this uh, this dog his name is uh, uh, Balbula he gave the name and this is not a prophecy you can give him a different name that will not make you a prophet too or make you God and actually the story about uh, 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 you know uh, uh, Allah taught Adam all the names it is stolen from the Old Testament but because Muhammad is a corrupt man he corrupted and he make it so funny and very stupid because the angels they say to Allah are you going to create Someone he will do mischievement. This is why there's a huge part of Muslims to believe that Adam is not the first man. There was people before Adam. There's a huge part of the Muslims. I made a video about it not long time ago. You can go and watch it. Speak about this issue. They are so confused to the point they believe that Adam was not the first man. And why they say that? Because the Quran is saying a stupid story. When the Quran said, that Allah he told Adam let me let me find you the the, the claim of the Muslims <clears throat> uh, uh, when when Allah he told uh, he said he is going uh, uh, to create a, a human being uh, the, the angels said to him are you going to create someone he would do mischief in the earth so the Muslims this group of Muslims they believe uh, that there is a group of people who live before Adam for sure and this is an example the Ahmadiyya believe in that this is the website of Al Ahmadiyya and this is the name of Jashik Sheko huh? men lived in earth before the advent of Adam so this is a group of Muslims, not only the Ahmadiyya, by the way, there's, there's other groups, there's many groups, because the Quran, as I said, it's a collection of stupidity. How Allah, he says, I'm going to create someone who is going to inherit the earth if there's no people to inherit. Unless there's people and Adam is going to inherit them. But the fact that the confusion happened in the Quran, 
is based on the the manuscript or let's say there's no manuscript. Uh, the Quran by the way there's no manuscript of it not even a single one you remember the one they found in Bang uh, Birmingham uh, uh, dated to the time of Muhammad even this one is not manuscript for this is a, a piece of leather the date of it is going even before Muhammad date because you know in the old days they used to uh, use the the same piece of leather they wash it they write in it again and they wash it so they, there's something more important they wash the old one uh, they do like a wash normal wash with water you know so they take the ink and they write a new ink however even this one they found it the Muslim they were so happy it is not the same as the Quran today in the same time it have dots which means it's not from the time of Muhammad because in the time of Muhammad the Arabic have no dots dots and they have no vowels so uh, uh, the Muslims they are uh, separated to many parties and everyone have his own uh, uh, fantasy so group of the Muslims a bigger group of them believe that Muhammad uh, when he told them about Adam he did never said that Adam was the first man why because the Quran said that Allah will create a man to inherit and you cannot inherit something unless there is somebody somebody on it before you but the fact it was a dot added to the Quran you know instead of uh, 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 there's Khalifa and there's Khalifa so the same written but because we add a dot that, that will change the whole meaning of the words and actually there's tons of verses in the Quran have the same problems and the Muslims today are confused with it so when the Muslim they speak about Adam as a prophet not only it is a stupid not only it's confusing not only is not logical it is crazy and out of any logic because even now even those who believe that Adam was not the first man as long Allah he killed all the men before him all the people before him that means still he can't be a prophet to anyone because simply there's only him right you see how many uh, uh, you know uh, people they believe in that and uh, has a problem with the way children of peace where Adam and Eve the first a human yeah anyway so everybody have uh, his own fiction story but if you read it carefully like if you read the Bible it's the Bible is, is very simple God created Adam created Eve that's it there's no people before there's no people uh, 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 was exist uh, you know and even Muhammad himself he said in the hadith that Allah created the first thing he created uh, is the, the 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 dirt in Saturday uh, let us see here And he created Adam in Friday afternoon all right as you see it so even the hadith confirming that but because the Quran is a, conf you know, is, a is a confusing book and because there's many mistakes in, in writing mistake mostly uh, which means script mistake like the error in, in writing so now the Muslims they have a wrong words have nothing to do with what Muhammad even said in his time as you see Muhammad he said clearly that the first thing Allah he created it was the dirt and the last thing he created it was Adam Friday afternoon and here actually I don't know when I forget to mention how stupid this statement is because Muhammad he forget Eve you know what I mean but an average person who read he would not notice that how you say that the last thing the last creation of the last hour it was Adam so what what about Eve <laughs> you know what I mean read it it's obvious er error so I don't blame the Muslims for being confused Muhammad is a crazy mad man false prophet he copies stories from here and there and he tried to glue it together this is why those stories they don't make sense and you do not know even the beginning from the end you do not know where is the middle 
You do not know where is the start. You do not know who is the director. You do not know who is the, the hero. You do not know who, who died. Even, even Jesus, he died, but he did not die. Allah, he cloned Jesus. <laughs> like, did he die or he did not die? <laughs> it's like, you know, those, those uh, fiction stupid movies, you see them like the game of the throne. You know, the God of many faces. <laughs> So Allah is the God of many faces. He have many faces for Jesus. <laughs> he have many faces for Adam. He have many faces for everybody. So my friend, anyone believe that Adam was a prophet is being dumb and idiot. And I see here dumb and dumb. You know, dumb. You know, because people they are collecting their knowledge from from trash, and nobody want to use his head. I mean, God, He gave us a gift. It's called a brain. Use it. This is why I believe that Muslims, their brains is the most expensive because it never been used. Thank you very much for watching the video. And may the Lord bless you all. And uh, sorry, Muslim, I don't mean really to insult. However, the truth hurt. Your religion is a stupid and it's not my fault if it is. Ask yourself how you are going to follow such a prophet. Uh, ordering Adam and Eve to build a house so they can circulate around? I mean, are you serious? <laughs> Do I need to circulate around the house to worship God? <laughs> hey God, I want house to circulate too. <laughs> what is that? Circ? <laughs> circulate around the house? And this is supposed to how you worship God. Why? Is God, is the God in the house? I mean, this is a small stupid dump story. Crazy, but what you can do for people, they swallow garbage, so don't accept anything will come out except garbage, garbage in, garbage out. Thank you for listening. May the Lord bless you all and see you soon again with more videos. Christ is Lord, Islam is false. I mean, to that, see you soon again.